Good official morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed your stay. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below before you go. Day one of Dante being gone. And I have my OBGYN appointment today, so I'm feeling incredibly nervous. Um, I'm trying to be hopeful and like hope for the best, but I just, I'm literally a lightning rod for both of those. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave the video linked at the top of the screen here. Um, I just don't have the time to explain it right this second. Um, or maybe not today at all, but there's this kid. But the reason I'm anxious is because of the news we received from the anatomy scan, which I talked about in that video. Um, I am supposed to be going to hang out with my friend right now, um, who doesn't really love the camera, so it'll probably just be like a big montage, and then it'll be like the trip or whatever, or the trip, the OBGYN appointment. But I have to go pick her up and then go to the store, buy a handful of things that Dante doesn't know about, but that's what we're up to this morning. I'm trying to distract myself until my OB appointment because I'm so nervous today. But it's gonna be okay, manifesting. It's gonna be okay. It just makes it worse that Dante's not here and originally he was supposed to be for this appointment but I missed it. So now he is gone for it. So that gives me anxiety but it's okay. Let's go, let's do this. I literally wish I was joking. She literally lives like five to seven minutes max away from my house. And he fell asleep. It's only 11.37 a.m. He doesn't usually nap until like 12.31ish. So I guess we're having an early nap and I guess we're gonna go for a drive because like I need to put his blanket over his face too. It's better than him not taking a nap, I guess. Okay, so like I said, I probably wasn't gonna do a lot of filming because you know, um I need a mask actually. So I'm gonna put you guys down here really quick while I explain this because I'm running out of time. But um she doesn't like to be on camera. So I didn't, I didn't really film. Plus, we ended up driving a whole bunch. Regardless, she decided to watch Jackson for me. Um, this lady's literally staring at him. I'm freaking psychotic. But she is watching Jackson, so I don't have to bring him because it's a dinner appointment like time. So super grateful for her. Lily, I love you. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the appointment. I'm still freaking scared, so... <sighs> Let's go see what he says. Okay, well, we are back from the OBGYN office. And I didn't get the news that I wanted, but I didn't necessarily get bad news either. So he basically told me when I brought it up that it was something he wanted to talk about and whatever else. Um, it was a point he wanted to touch that appointment. He basically told me that there isn't anything he can tell me right now because he just doesn't know if it's normal or if it means something's wrong. He said basically it could mean that like the bone's not developing properly or like whatever else. And he wouldn't give me any more information on that because he said anything he tells me would just be guessing because he doesn't actually know. So there's no point in worrying me until he knows like what like is going on. But that wasn't very comforting. Um, I'm gonna be sent to a children's hospital to get my next ultrasound which I have to wait to hear from. Um, he said, for everyone in my comments, who, not the people who meant kindness and whatever else, but more on TikTok, any single person who sat there and was like kind of snarky about the fact that he didn't like call me or whatever else with him being on vacation or have someone else call. The reason he didn't have anyone else call is because he thought he didn't have my blood work, which he needs to be able to send with my ultrasound. So he thought he didn't have blood work. So he thought he needed blood work for me, which is why he waited until my appointment. It was not because everything is fine with the baby. It is because he just genuinely did not have what he thought he needed, which he did end up having, but it wasn't in his computer. It was like paper, so we didn't see it. So he thought he needed to send me for blood work, which I did not need to go get today, but he needs to send all that off. So now that he knows he has it, he's sending it off and I have to wait to hear from them, from the hospital. He said the hospital could take a handful of days if it um, if they have an opening, I'll hear from them. And if not, I'll hear from him. He told me that if it waits more than two weeks to call, like if I don't hear from them more than two weeks, to call his OB office. And then, um, yeah, it's just not very comforting information, to be honest. It just stresses me out because he wouldn't even tell me like the what ifs. And I, I mean, I get it because like there's no point in telling me anything. But like, 
he was very like dismissive when I asked so I was like okay well like if it is just like if it's not normal what are like what could it be like kind of deal and he just he literally just sat there and said, well, it would be guessing and I don't like doing guesswork. And I, I, I get it because it, it would just be guessing. But I'm also the kind of person that needs to know. So I went to Google and that's not helpful. That was not helpful. So I'm just trying to process everything that he said. And I know this isn't really like a full update, but it's like the only update I have to give. I have to wait for an ultrasound. Um, if you're from the Toronto-ish area, um, or Hamilton-ish area, I'm being sent to McMaster for the ultrasound, so you know that's where you go for, like, big things, and, like, pregnancy or children or, like, anything like that, so that makes me really nervous, um, because I, I've never had to do this with any of my kids before, so going to, like, like, having to go to, like, a specific children's hospital kind of deal... Like, on one hand, it makes me feel good because I'll be in, like, really good hands because they do this kind of stuff all the time. But the other hand, it makes me really nervous um, because it couldn't have just been easy. So that makes me really nervous. It makes me really nervous that he wouldn't even talk about the what-ifs because then it makes me feel like the what-ifs are really bad. Um, so that makes me really nervous. And I honestly just don't know how I feel right now. I don't know how to feel. I feel like I have cried too much already over it. Um, I cried right when I got down to the car because I was like processing my emotions and stuff. And it just makes it, it makes it so much harder because Dante's not here. Like he's on the camping trip with his friends or whatever. And it's like, he's the person I talk to about this kind of shit and like yes I have friends and like whatever else but it's like it's different because he's the one who's like going through it with me kind of deal so it's like it just feels like a lot and I'm just feeling really emotional and I'm trying to be hopeful and I'm trying to like stay on like the bright side of things and just be like oh he has a small head but like I literally am a lightning rod for everything that's not Like, if you're going to tell me something, I need the whole, like, situation. You can't just tell me the best case scenario. I need to know the best and worst so I can prepare myself for the worst because I am 100% a lightning bolt for those. Like, if you guys know me in real life, you would know that literally every single bad thing that could have happened to me in my entire life has happened to me. Like, it's, I'm a lightning rod for bad things to happen. So, I'm trying to stay positive, but at the same time, like, there's just a lot of things that are scaring me, like the OB not telling me and the fact that I have to go to McMaster which is terrifying and he said that McMaster doctor will read my ultrasound kind of deal they'll do the ultrasound they'll read my ultrasound and then they'll tell him my next appointment is at the end of August so I'm trying to be hopeful that if I don't hear from him by then and he has the results and everything that he will call if it's serious and if I don't hear from him then then it's good news I'm trying to be hopeful it's just it's hard it's scary and my pregnancy anxiety is really high really really high it's been really bad this entire pregnancy but like right now it's probably the highest that it's been and I think that's also because Dante hasn't been home today for me to be able to like like I can talk to him but it's not like the same if that makes sense um I also have my glucose test that I have to do coming up, so that's not going to be any fun. Um, but that's pretty much it, all I have for an update. I'm sorry I don't have more. I really wish I had more. I really wish I had more and this was over and then I could just say, hey, look, you know what, everything's fine. But I don't have that. So, we're working with what we have and I'm trying to just be hopeful that his head magically grew into size and that maybe it was just the position that he was sitting and his head's just fine and all this worry was for literally nothing i also just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love you guys have been showing me over my instagram um all the dms you guys have sent me all the positive energy and like good vibes and all that kind of stuff and love that you guys have sent me it literally means the entire world to me and it doesn't go unnoticed and i'm so 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 grateful and so thankful for you all um thank you for being here on this journey with me thank you guys for being here and supporting me um and supporting me emotionally um as like a best friend would do i am so appreciative for you guys and i love you guys so much